Community leaders, groups and individuals across the country have signaled their interest in observing the Voices Against Violence National Candlelight Vigil. This is according to Vice President of Caribbean Voice, Bibi Ahmad, who added that the event will be observed with a focus to bridge all divides as a serious step to promote positive change. Representing the organizer of these vigils, Ahmad has urged community leaders to adhere to confidentiality during the vigils. But your community might have a high level of drug or alcohol abuse in your community. So, you know, you talk about it, you find solution how to help the persons within your community with, with whatever social is. It's, it's trying to bring community involved with the social issues that plague your, your, your community. Because each community is unique in their own way. They have their own issues. And the community leaders would have to come together with the, the population in that community to talk about it. But one other thing I would caution, don't be judgmental and don't break any confidence when you're going to be interacting in your community. Because if a youth come and tell you a problem, you don't go and tell your neighbor. You either help or seek help for that person. Another recognized non-governmental organization, SASAD, who has been in the forefront for LGBTIQ rights and recognition and more importantly, highlighting the challenges those persons from the community face, is also part of the much-anticipated vigil. The organization's social change coordinator, Jairo Rodriguez, said this is the first of many vigils to be held by the organization. Rodriguez is hopeful that the event will aid in bringing about social change to persons suffering from mental illnesses. The vigil will see speeches by two relevant speakers voicing concerns on the topical issue. The vigil on September 10th is basically to bring a forefront on mental health and suicide. It's um, World Suicide Prevention Day. And Sasset for One is an organization working with LGBT persons that mental health affects them at a percentage way more than, you know, uh, people who identify as heterosexuals. So we want to basically show community support and we're part of an entire network of organizations that will be holding similar vigils to say that we support um, the families who had a loss in their household and also friends and stuff that are grieving and that, you know, choose life, basically. So for the vigil at our Charlotte Street office, we'll be having uh, two speeches, one from a former Cusco international volunteer, a mental health researcher, and we're looking at someone from the Ministry of Social Cohesion or the Ministry of Public Health that will be able to speak to the persons who are coming here on mental health issues and about suicide. The countrywide vigils will be held on September 10th in observance of World Suicide Prevention Day. Sandy Ramutar for MTV's News Update.